Right now I am doing a meth 2016 tutorial as well as going over a little bug that Heshi 2 has had for the last two years. It doesn't affect all games, but I'm going to show you how to get around the bug in the event that you do encounter it. But we're going to go into my core set for today's release. And there are going to be three meth 2016 H mods. You may have seen my test video, but I revised these to make things less confusing because technically MESC does not run all arcade games. It runs uh, Neo Geo, which are arguably home console, you know, MVS games. But uh, for the most part, MESC should be used to run consoles and such, such as uh, ColecoVision, Philips CDI, and all that stuff. I showed you how to access that option, but I'll do it one more time in the course of this video. But here we're going to have MESC 2016. The H mod itself. And then there are going to be two H mods on addition to that. We have the dependencies and the dummy folder. And I'm going to copy these over to my Hashi 2 CE user mods folder. And I'm going to show you how these work real fast. Basically, these are copies that I have. And anytime I adjust them in the user mods folder, I can just put them right back. You'll see exactly what I mean in a moment when I configure these. For starters, you're going to have to, for MESS 2016, you have to install the primary H mod. And I'm going to go over that. And there's two ways you can install the games. One is via user interface. And the second one is via the USB host for the uh, flash drive. And of course you can do the NAND internal flash memory. But I'll show you all three of these. So basically I'm going into the dependencies folder and these contain all the pertinent files to be able to run the systems. They're inside the hash folder. So basically if it doesn't exist in the hash folder you're not going to be able to run it. But now that I made a backup of it to my user mods folder I could highlight everything in the hash folder which is the majority of what takes up space. Have them all highlighted. And then I could just deselect the ones that I would like to play. Say I want to play MSX, I'll deselect MSX. Say I want to run uh, NES, Nintendo Entertainment System games, I'll deselect those. If I want to run Atari 5200 or Atari 7800, I'd deselect those. So with this being said, I would just delete everything but the ones I would like to install. So I would have the 57 megabytes initially, but by deleting the stuff that I do not need, and again, I have a complete backup of this in my core set, so keep a backup of the core set, and you can just copy it right to the user mouse folder anytime you adjust it. So now I would need to install the primary core and the dependencies core right here, MESS 2016. And the total size of these now would be 28 megabytes right here. That's not bad. And then the other thing you could do is you could go into the MESS 2016 dummy folder. And you would go into here where you have the dummy folder. You configure all the folders within the context of the dummy folder. Then when you're done, you can simply copy and paste that directly to your USB host flash drive into the, into the Hashi games folder. I have a dummy photo there already, but I would just let this copy there if I didn't. Or let it overwrite just to basically update the new files. And the other way you could do it is you could install it as an H mod. It would be in your internal NAND flash memory. That is what this is set up to do. But you go in here into the mess folder, and anything you'd like to run, you would simply put the games inside the folders. You cannot run the games unless they are inside the designated folders. I'll give you a primary example here. I'm going to go to today's working folder. I'm going to take two ColecoVision games and I'm going to copy them into the ColecoVision folder. As I mentioned, they will not run unless they are inside the ColecoVision folder. So I'm copying these in there. So the games will go inside the designated folders, but here's where things get a little bit confusing. The BIOS, in the event that you need BIOS, would have to go outside the folder. So do not put them in the ColecoVision folder. Copy them outside the folder. 
So you have all the game folders, and then you have the BIOS outside the folders. So the structure would be mess, and then the BIOS, and then the game folders with the games inside. And then you can install this and run it from your internal NAND flash memory. Now, the bug that Hashi2 has, I'm going to go over this right now. If I go to add a specific game, and I'm going to do this with a few games that are affected by this. Castlevania vs. Arcade, which runs with MAME 2003. If you attempt to add it, normally you would add an arcade game and it would say uh, add as an archive. But here's what happens in the event that you run into the bug. It turns it into absolute gibberish and you're unable to use it. So that's one game right there. Castlevania is unusable as a game. I'm going to add one more. Donkey Kong 2012. Gibberish yet again. Then if I try to add one of these uh, mess games, for instance, say Chuck Norris. Here it lets me do it as an archive, but that's a good thing. That's how it should be. But what I'm going to suggest doing here is I'm going to remove these. And obviously you can just copy the ROM sets to your USB host dummy folder and not have to worry about this. But I'm going to show you how I add these so they can be used within the context of Hashi 2. No matter which version you're using. I would take Castlevania and just 7-zip it. Add the 7-zip. Then Donkey Kong 2012 and 7-zip that. Now I'm going to add them in Hashi 2. I'll add the 7-zip version of Castlevania. Now it's going to add it properly. Now I can actually use it. Now I just have to do my bin forward slash MAME 2003. And just uh, call it uh, Arcade Ca you know, Verse Castlevania. And then search for our work on Google, whatever or not. And hopefully I'll be able to pull up something with this little search term. Basically, anything you type in that name there is usually what will show up in your results. So it might take a while since I have the arcade little perimeter in there. But if I just changed it, for instance, to Verse Castlevania Arcade, or even Verse System, which is what it is, I may have a better shot at it. I can do Google again and see what happens. And I'll just use this one right here. I mean, this looks cool. Then I'll just put the name back. So I'm all good on that. All the command lines are proper. Now I'll add one more game. Donkey Kong 2012. Same thing, MAME 2003. And then I would uh, search for that. I could Google and see if it comes up with that alone, but it probably won't. It'd be better if I actually uh, type in the actual name, which would be Donkey Kong 2012, I believe it was called. Jumpman, Jump, Donkey Kong 2 Jumpman Returns. And it is a hack. And like I said, it, what you type in the window is usually what you have a chance of popping up. I'll just use this one. This looks cool. Why not? So Donkey Kong 2. Jumpman Returns. Arcade. Now I have that set. And then uh, I'll add one ColecoVision game. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to 7-zip it, just to avoid any issues. And then I'm going to add the 7-zip. And here's where things get a little bit technical. You have to use a different command line to do mess 2016 games. So I'm adding that. And then I'm actually going to go to the folder I have. Remember what I said, the system that you run, you have to have running. So let's look here. I'm going to go to uh, the user mod folder, since I already have it there. Into the dummy folder. 
And if I like the wrong Coleco vision, I would have to have this folder called Coleco. So here's where things get a little bit tricky, but I'll try to best explain this as I can. I'm going to go into the games SNES folder where I just added that game, and I'm going to go by the newest added, date modified. And what I would do inside this folder here is I would actually create a folder called Coleco. So I would uh, create the folder Coleco, and then I would drag this game inside the Coleco folder. So the game would not be inside the normal CLV folder, but the Coleco games folder would be in the folder. So let me uh, do this one more time from scratch here, just to make it easy to understand. I'm going to delete this folder. Then I'm going to re-add this and show you from scratch. Cabbage Patch Kids 2 7-Zip, which is uh, to avoid any of the bug issues. And then I'm going to go into the folder that I just added, which would be right here. Then I need to do a subdirectory for the system that I'm attempting to run, which is Coleco. Then I'm going to drag the game inside the folder. Now that that's done, I'm going to have to do two more things. I'm going to have to change the command lines to be appropriate, which will be MESS2016. Then right here after the CLV folder and before the game name, I'm going to have to put the directory that it's in, which would be Coleco forward slash. So I have to point to that directory in the command line, otherwise it will not work at all. And then the last thing I need to do, I'm going to go into uh, the NAN dummy folder. I would have to take the BIOS that I mentioned. And I'd have to copy that into the CLV folder. Just like that. Then I'll find some art for it real quick. Uh, we'll do Coleco Cabbage Patch Kids in the Park. And there's another crucial detail I'm going to point out here. This is, uh, right there is the artwork. That's good. I'm going to deem this mess 2016. I'll just call it mess. That'll be good enough. Then Coleco for a subsystem and uh, Cabbage Patch Kids. Adventures in the Park. Now that I have all three of these games set up, I'm going to close actually two so the command lines are all appropriate. But let me make sure they're correct before I shut down. MAME 2003, MAME, two, uh, MAME 2003, MAME 2003, and MESS 2016. So I'm going to exit actually two CE. And then I would reopen it if I would like to sync or export. Or if I'm going to do it manually, I would just go to, uh, since it's already closed, they're already going to be saved. I'm going to go to the most recent games I just added. Which would be Donkey Kong, Castlevania, and Cabbage Patch Kids. I'm going to copy these right to the USB host flash drive. Or I could sync and export them if I reopen Hashi 2. So game folder, I'm just going to copy them right to the folder. Then I'm going to boot up USB host and we're going to test these out real fast. Now typically in your main user interface you shouldn't have any more than 60 games on the SNES Classic or 100 on the NES Classic. I have more than 60 right now so I may potentially run into an issue but if I do I will fix it as I do the video. Well, we're booting up real quick and these three games should hopefully work even though I have just a, a tad bit more than 60 games in a folder. Okay. So we're going to go to the mess game first. Mess, Coleco Vision, Cabbage Patch Kids, Adventure in the Park. I should have everything appropriate with the BIOS and the command line, so it should open. Unless I have too many games in the user interface. Ah, uh, we're good to go. Everything's nice. 
again, you could uh, use L2 if you have the appropriate controller, and you could change the inputs for this machine, and I'm going to change uh, 1 to be on my R1, the keypad, which was typically with a 50, Atari 5200 and television and ColecoVision. And again, when you shut the system down, this will revert in case you mess up. So right here is what I changed the 1 to. And I'm able to play the game. And you can play this with Blue MSX as well, but it works pretty awesome with Mass 2016. Again, I love this game. It's made by Konami, and it is such a blatant ripoff of Pitfall, Pitfall by Activision. So much like Pitfall. But the other thing you can do, again, if you go into your uh, options here, you can go into Select New Machine, and you can see which systems are actually supported. So you can go through the list, and the green ones work, the red ones do not. So that's something you can do right there. And then you can just toggle L2 to get back out of there.